Biden announced he would welcome 100,000 Ukrainian refugees to the United States. One central Georgia lawyer has an idea that could help find homes for some of those refugees. Anthony Montalto explains his proposal. The proposal would use federal dollars to relocate Ukrainian families to counties that experienced a loss in population between 2010 and 2020. All of this is about solving a problem and coming up with a solution that helps as many people as possible. Christopher Smith thinks this plan would do just that while helping the population problem in rural counties across the nation. He says thousands of counties saw the population decline, some of them right here in central Georgia. These rural communities tend to have more abundant housing, lower cost, but they still have a lot of jobs available. So I view it as a win-win matching a need of two important constituencies. Smith says the plan, which would use federal dollars, is for working families. The assistance they would be given by the federal government will be locating here and getting them started up on their feet. A county needs to check two boxes. First, a decline in population. Second, they need to be willing to accept refugees. We don't want a federal situation where people are just bringing Ukrainian refugees to a community that doesn't feel it can financially support it or doesn't feel that it has the need for it. Smith says he gave the proposal to his congressman, Austin Scott. He says Scott's office is looking into it. Back to you. All right, Anthony, thanks very much. So where have those refugees been going? Let's take a closer look. More than 3.6 million refugees have fled Ukraine since February 24th. That's according to the United Nations High Commissioner for Refugees. In just one month, Poland has accepted more than 2 million refugees. That's nearly 60% of all the people who have fled. Second to Poland is Romania, followed by the Republic of Moldova and Hungary. As the situation continues, the UNHCR estimates more than 4 million people could leave Ukraine.